Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. In the last few weeks, I've received a ton of emails asking about eBay non-API versus eBay API and even what does this even mean? Let me first explain for the newbies out there exactly what an eBay API is and then explain how an eBay non-API compares to the traditional eBay API. If this sounds like mumbo jumbo, just hang in there and I'll keep it simple. If anybody new to this channel, my name is Neil Waterhouse. I've been selling eBay for 24 years. I'm the author of Million Dollar eBay Business from Home. So let's launch straight into it. First, what is an API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. In simple terms, in the case of eBay, eBay's API simply allows third-party programs and apps to communicate directly with the eBay servers. Another example of an API that we see all the time is banks. All the automatic teller machines all over the world are indirectly connected to the banks via their API. Without an API, there'd be no way an automatic teller machine can communicate with a bank. In the case of eBay, eBay's API allows third-party software applications to communicate directly with the eBay servers. So for example, Scarcity Manager is a third-party software application that uses eBay's API to automatically update customers' eBay listings. Some third-party software companies like SM or Scarcity Manager offer both options of both API and non-API. Let's look at one of the SM or Scarcity Manager's features and compare it using eBay's API or non-API option. One feature of SM is a supplier inventory checking feature, where SM continually checks your supplier's inventory, and if your supplier runs out of stock, SM will automatically make that eBay listing show zero available so buyers can't purchase it. SM does these updates on your eBay account automatically using their eBay API where the SM servers communicate directly to the eBay servers. But if you prefer the non-eBay API method, you can go to the Google App Store and download the SM non-API app and that non-API app will make the eBay updates to your eBay account for you using your computer, therefore not using SM's API. So for this example of SM doing an eBay inventory update to your listings using your computer, you get exactly the same result using the SM's API or installing the SM's non-API onto your computer. But the big difference is with the eBay non-API app, you must have your computer turned on so the app can update your eBay listings using your, your computer when your supplier's inventory changes. Whereas if you allow SM to automatically update your listings using their API, you don't need your computer turned on as the SM servers communicate directly with the eBay servers. So you might be thinking, which works best? For this example, both the eBay API and non-API option achieve exactly the same result. However, there are a couple of things to consider when choosing between API or non-API. Firstly, some people prefer the non-eBay API app, so they have control of how often the inventory is updated. Other people prefer to use the software's API, so they don't need to have a computer turned on 24 seven. The other thing to consider is, does the API option for the software that you're looking at have the same features as a non-API option? There's no one fits all answer to that question. Every software application, of course, is different. So the only way to find out which features are offered for API or non-API is to contact that service provider. That's all for this week. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel. And make sure you hit the subscribe button to the no fluff ad-free channel that teaches step-by-step -step how anyone can make a full-time living from their home using less than $100. Until next week, stay safe, list more, sell more, it's in your waterhouse.